What a beautiful negative 13 degree day. Oh, hey everybody. Welcome back to the X Hoarder Mansion. Now she looks a little rough right now, but just give her time. And oh, by the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Cole. Well, I already introduced the house. Okay, let's go inside. It's cold. So here's where we're at today. We have a lot of demolition work to do, but before we can demolition stuff, we need to get all the furniture out of this room, this room, and this room. Feels good to be making some headway, but we're at a little bit of a roadblock here. I have some bigger dressers in here that I'm not comfortable moving myself because I don't want to scratch the floor when I'm carrying them out. And then I have some of my grandpa's personal belongings in here that we need to get loaded up in boxes. I don't know what to do with that stuff. I don't want to throw it away. I want to let my dad go through it. So for tonight, we're done in this room. brings back a lot of memories to me. Uh, I grew up in this house. My dad was born in this house. My dad died in this house. And that was kind of his dream all his years, if you want to say, because this house meant a lot to him. It's an old house. And then when I was born, I was born in a hospital, but this is where I came to and grew up all my life too. So I'm over here after I moved out, I'm still here about every day. So it's just neat to see the house getting fixed back up, you know, the age of the house, things kind of fall apart. Now, coal can remodel. Now's the time to do it. Oh, doesn't that look so much different when there's nothing in here? Hello! We got the bathroom over here looking nice and clean. I mean, doesn't everything about this scene just scream, hey, I could be sitting on the toilet with my feet in the bathtub at the same time. How awesome would that be? Not gonna lie, it would be kind of nice sitting here. You'd be able to do your toenails nice and easy, and if they were getting kind of hard to cut, you could just soak them in water. They were thinking back then. But now before we start gutting, we need to run out to that building. I have some big sheets of cardboard out there. We're gonna lay that down. We're gonna put tarps over that so that way we don't damage the floor and then we'll have easy cleanup. Hey, 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 hey now. What kind of person puts a pile of trash right outside the door? That's a fire hazard. There we go, we got our cardboard down and then we got a nice tarp over the top so that way when stuff falls on this, it's gonna keep that floor from getting hurt. It's also gonna make cleanup a lot easier. But now before we get started, I'm gonna grab my tape here. We're gonna do what I should have done last time I demoed. And that's, we're gonna tape up all the frames of these doors. And we're also gonna tape the keyholes shut because when I tore out the room under this floor, I just simply shut the doors. And when I walked out, I had dust in the entire house. No, 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 dust. No getting in my room today. There we go, it's that easy. Full face respirator. We wouldn't be sure to keep all the stuff that could be floating in the air out of our lungs. It's important to have. And I got a full face one, so that way I have eye protection. P100 filters. Pretty sure these are what scuba divers use to not breathe in water. Let's do this. All the low stuff up. Everything that's left up here, we need a ladder to get to. I got the closet pretty much tore apart. You guys can't really see in there because the light is burnt out. Let me tell you what, that little chimney area, that alone took like 30 minutes to do that little spot. I'd kind of like to get a ladder and I'd kind of like to get some food in my belly. And I don't want to open that door because we have it taped shut and that took forever to tape. So I think I'm just going to rip through this wall into the bathroom. Look at that. Got ourselves a little doorway. Oh, yeah. Woo. You know, 
For being big and stuff, this thing is really comfortable. And it's honestly not hard to breathe through at all. I'm a big fan. So it was $230 well spent. Nice. Right, so let's have a little looky-loo here. All right, real funny. Nice tight fit. So last night, I'd say we got a pretty good start. We just had the ceiling left, and I did find my ladder. We, we brought it through the hole in the wall. We got the closet done, and I had a lot of fun taking the stuff off that brick. I just have a feeling that the person who put that on there 102 years ago, as they're putting it on, they're like, oh, the person in 100 years has to take this off. is going to have so much fun. Yeah, I had fun. But so far, I'm happy with the progress we made. In case anyone is wondering how my tape job is holding up, it hardly let any dust in at all. Now I am trying to be careful with these not to scratch them up too much. I am going to be re-sanding these and re-standing them. So if I get a little light scuffing on the top, not too worried about it. We got all the door trim off. We have all the windows trim off. I'm leaving the top door and window trims as well as the one on the very top until I get the ladder in here. But before we do that, I need to get a pencil and mark down on this wood to make sure that we know which window it belonged to or which baseboard or which door. I still have these on here because there is a nail at the very bottom of them and I can't get my pro bar in there to get it out. And I don't really wanna break these boards, so I guess we're just gonna have to leave that one baseboard on here until we get the wall out and I can get something in the backside to knock it out. All right, let's get back to work. Oh boy, that's a heck of a mess. Sable! So what do you guys think? It's coming along. It's coming along really nice. Look at this bathroom. It, it has no walls. How's someone supposed to use this toilet too? Look, there's a bunch of stuff in the way. And they weren't thinking when they designed this. This bathroom probably took twice as long as that room did. And that's because about chest high all the way around, they had this blue tile stuff in behind it was brick. And I tell you what, that brick is some stout stuff. I honestly don't know if there's brick on this exterior wall or not. I kind of hope not, because I don't really know how I'm gonna get that out if there is. Who knows, actually, I might even be able to leave it there. The only reason why I took it out here and on the other side is because I want to tear out this wall and I want to tear out that wall because I want to make this room, rooms, whatever you want to call it, into a master bedroom. This old bathroom here is only six feet wide and 10 feet long. And as we could see by how the toilet and the bathtub were, there's not really enough room to have a toilet and a bathtub or a toilet and a shower in here. So I couldn't just get away with knocking out this wall. So like I said, I want to make this into a master bedroom. And in my opinion, a proper master bedroom has a walk-in closet in a bathroom. So what we're gonna do is end up meshing these three rooms together into one to make the master bedroom. I don't have any blueprinted layouts of how anything is gonna look yet, but somewhere in this space, we're gonna have a shower, we're gonna have a toilet, and we're gonna have a walk-in closet. And I should probably mention, I want to rip out this old closet here, and then on the back side of this wall, there's an old cabinet. I'm gonna take that out too, so that way we'll get a little bit more expansion on this room. And then on the back side of this wall is actually the landing for the attic. And I think it'd be really cool to have two entrances to the attic so you can get in on the hallway side or you could get in right through here. Since we're gonna be finishing the attic and making that into a really cool studio area, it'd be really neat to just get out of bed walk right through my room straight up into my studio. I think that'd be a really cool feature to have in a bedroom. Is it necessary? No, but 
we're doing this, so why not? We definitely have plenty of real estate to do all this. It's gonna be a really big room, actually. I don't have any blueprints yet, though, so I don't have an exact layout of how this is gonna look, but I'm running a few different ideas through my head. I think it's gonna be really cool. But we are not going to get too excited about putting stuff back together right now because we still have some more demo to do and we have a lot of cleanup to do. Gonna be completely honest, not really looking forward to cleaning up these bricks. But I am looking forward to getting a bathroom upstairs. I'm looking forward to actually getting insulation in the walls. And I'm looking forward to getting rid of this old knob and tube wiring. So there we have it. We have a long way to go and we have a long time to get there. So we're gonna get her done. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one.